the players are about to toss and decide who goes first in this 12 end no time limit final with me sharing the commentary this afternoon again is Wayne Adam good afternoon again Wayne good afternoon Chris well what sort of a final would you be expecting I think we'll see a uh, very good final here today we have two players who uh, basically draw players and very good ones at that and I think we're in for a very good tussle now, playing at this top level, neither of these players are stranger to it? Uh, no, they're not. Um, Patrick has won uh, national titles before, so he's no stranger to, to, to this situation. And Blair has, has been down in, in events as well. So. And the first ball, the black ball, has been played by Patrick Holt of Upper Hutt Valley. He's playing the black balls, and Blair Spicer of Canterbury is playing the brown balls. Each player plays four balls per end alternately. Off to a very good start here, right? Yes, it's a good, good, good start from both players. Patrick Holt now actually lives and plays his bowls in Waikato, and I understand shortly he's off to Gisborne, but uh, he's entered in these championships through a club in the Upper Hutt Valley where he used to play. He's obviously teamed up with other players from that district and that's the way his entry has come in so we have to describe him as Upper Hunt Valley. No such complications with Blair Spicer, he's out and out from Canterbury. Blair's just been down to have a look at the head. He's holding the shot. Patrick's two black balls are dotted around and it's now Blair's turn obviously going for a positional bowl way. Yes, so he will be looking to cover the two black balls that Patrick has placed there. He's probably looking to rest Patrick's ball, which just a shade heavy, but still ended up in a good position. <laughs> now, there's no time limit, of course, for this final. The players can go and have a look at the head and inspect it as often as they like. Yes, they can. It's very important at this stage that you're very clear in your own mind what you want to do and what the result will be of that shot, because any small mistake could be quite, quite disastrous. Some jack movement from Patrick Holt. Changed the nature of the situation. It has. He's, he's just rested Blair's shot ball, moved the jack back to his own, and he'd be sitting with one shot. Blair Spicer, whose bowl is on its way down now, is a past winner of the National Catholic Fours. And he's showing that kind of form here now. Yes, he is. That was a top ball from Blair. He's just rested Patrick's bowl out and he's be sitting there possibly with three shots. That was certainly worthy of another look, that bowl from Blair Spicer, and it's on its way down here in the replay. Coming into the head now. He's looking for some movement, and he got just the bowl he wanted. Yes, he did. Uh, that's an excellent shot. Patrick's got a shot on here, pushing his own bowl into the head. And I'm not sure that that was the result he was looking for, but it certainly gave him the result. It gave him the result, yes. He had two shots there, and he, he, he played a different shot from the one I described. He play, played with weight to, to push the jack back with Blair's bowl and rest his own back one. It was a very good, good, good shot he played there. Now Blair Spicer lining up his last bowl of this first end of the 12 end final. Coming down into the head now. Move the jack. I would say he's still one down. Still one down. That was actually a very good shot from Blair. He was just a bit unlucky there. So after one end of this 12 end final, Patrick Holt of Upper Hutt Valley goes to a 1 0 lead. He's now throwing the jack for the second end. He can throw it anywhere along the mat, providing it doesn't go past the white marked box. Yes, that's right. If it does go over that, he, he gives his opponent the opportunity to place the mat uh, anywhere between the box and the two dots on the side of the mat, which sit at the two-thirds mark. And his first ball was on its way. He'll be looking to get close. He'd be looking to get one just on or just behind the jack. It's not a bad opener from Patrick. <laughs> He's left room for Blair to draw one inside it, and no doubt that's what he'll be trying to do. That's exactly what he'll be trying to do. And the way Blair's been playing this afternoon, I think he will do that. <laughs> the 
gives him the shot. Patrick Holt is a past winner of the National Fours, which he won in 1986. He's also been a runner-up in the pairs. He hasn't won a singles yet, but he's trying very hard here this afternoon. He's Patrick played a good bowl there. He's just rested Blair's bowl through to sit for, for one, maybe two shots. And he's got good position on the head too. These players be feeling a little nervous in the early stages of the game? Yes, they certainly will. They'll be sort of uh, coming to grips with the situation, getting the feel of the mat and testing each other out. But they should be fairly well settled by now. They've played a lot of bowls over the last few days in this competition. Yes, they have. 735 players started out in the, in the singles. There were 256 of them went through to post-section play. And uh, at the beginning of today, they had 256 players. We're now down to the last two. For a lot of players at the National Championships, just qualifying is, is a big achievement. Yes, Why? it is. Yes, it certainly is. On average, only one player and three qualifiers, one and three or one and four. So they've done very well to get that far. Yes, they have. Yeah. Blair's played a very good shot here to uh, just to push through the head and move the jack and come through to sit for two shots. Patrick with his previous bowl was unfortunately too wide. He was looking to sew that end up by moving the jack into his black bowls. We're already seeing quite a lot of jack and bowl movement in this final. Yes, we have. It's Patrick Holt's black bowl on its way in now and he again has moved the jack. Just as well he had a bowl there to stop it going any further. Yes, it was. It would have been a penalty if he'd knocked the jack, the white one, off the mat. Yes. As it is, Patrick Holt has one shot. Final bowl from Blair Spicer on its way. Final bowl of the second end. <laughs> He's rested the Holt shot bowl through the head. They've taken one brown bowl out and are looking at the second one. They may be calling for a measure. No. Patrick Holt has conceded two shots there. So Blair Spicer now goes into the lead with two ends completed by two to one. Spicer now holds two. He's rested the Patrick Holt bowl through the head. He hasn't left too big a target either way. No, he hasn't. I don't think Patrick will be doing much more than drawing to this. He has got a couple of bowls he can rest on. <laughs> Patrick Holt's third bowl is on its way. He'll be disappointed with that. Yes, he would. I think he was aiming to just sit on, uh, on Blair's outside brown bowl there, which would have given him the shot. He was just a little wide. This gives Blair the opportunity to put another bowl in, but he'll obviously be conscious of preventing any opportunities for Patrick to score now. Yes, he would. The ideal bowl, I think, for Blair here would be just on the jack in front. And he looks to be trying to achieve that. He's just played it a little narrow. Just, uh, probably just a little short as well. He holds two. Patrick Holt is about to play the last bowl of this third end. He's chosen the forehand again. He'll be trying to find that outside brown bowl of Blair's. It's a bit closer this time. Yes. Well, he was unfortunate there. He was, yes. He didn't want any movement with the jack. But that will be a further one shot to Blair Spice. And he's opened up a little lead. Not a great lead in this early stage, but a little lead. It's now three points to one. Three ends completed. Crowd absorbed in the game. Good crowd in here. Most of the players who've taken part in the singles have stayed to watch the final. We would probably have at least 500 watching this game. And Blair is now putting in the covering bowl. Yes, he's put in a good bowl there. Could have afforded to be a little bit further around. So it still gives Patrick a chance here. He's got it. It's an unusual way to get the shot. 
Yes, I think Patrick got a good result from that. I mean, the, the shot was the right one to play. He was certainly looking to, to, to move the jack through and come through with his own ball, but he, was, he got, a, I think, a fortunate result there. Lear doesn't have a great deal of option open to him this time, does he? He's really only got the one hand to play on. Yes, he has. He'd be looking to, to reach there with draw weight and, and to squeeze the jack to his own bowls. How's his direction? A little narrow, unfortunately. He's still one down, with Patrick Holt now has the bonus bowl to play. Which he'll be very conscious of, because he's two points behind. If he can score two, he can level the match. He certainly chose an unusual way to get there. Yes, he did. I would think I would have played it on the other hand, but there was the risk on the other hand if he was a bit narrow, he could have kicked the jack to, to Blair's balls. They've taken one black ball out. They're now going to measure for the second. Great deal of care needed in checking the distance with the calipers. Blair watches on to make sure he does it correctly. They only did the two balls in the measure. They've taken the others clear. From that angle, we're not going to see which it is. It was, in fact, two to Patrick Holt. comfortable with that length. Yes, that was a very good opening ball from Patrick. That's Blair's first ball. Nothing wrong with his weight, but his green wasn't correct. No, no, he still was probably a little underweight there. He would have been looking to rest Patrick's ball or just slip him round and behind. I guess if you're in two minds as to what weight you're using, whether it's a draw or a little more, you can end up with nothing. That's dead right. Yes, you've got to be very clear in your own mind what shot you want. If you get into two minds, you end up playing nothing, as you say. Now, Patrick's consolidating here, holds two, in a fairly good position. Yes, he is. Blair will have to reach that back bowl of Patrick's here. The second bowl is on its way. It's better green. He sits on the black bowl. He has a much better position now. Yes, it's a, it's a good reply from Blair. Now, Patrick Holt is asking the marker a question. Probably wanting to know if the jack and the bowl are touching. Yes, I think that's probably what he was asking. Could affect the weight that he plays the shot with, whether it was touching or not. Well, he's giving it plenty of green. Just a few inches short in weight. He's just a wee bit short of a gallop there. He still left the way open here for Blair to rest Patrick shot bowl and with some jack movement. He could sit there with two shots. And he could now use the Patrick Holt, that last ball of Patrick Holtz, as a guide in, couldn't he? Yes, dead right. Blair's been down to have a look at the head. He's ready to play his bowl now. Little weight, not a lot. Oh. Yes, it was a, an excellent shot there from, from Blair. It was a poor last bowl from, from Patrick. It was left the way open for Blair to play that shot. This one moment he had a quite a reasonable position, and the next minute he was in a most unpleasant position. Yes, that's right. in here, about 500 watching this final. They've been here all week playing bowls, and now it's their turn to relax and watch the finalists battle it out. Oh. And there we 
we've seen some more jack movement, but uh, not the right result for Patrick Holt. No, I think there's an example there that how weight is very crucial on these mats with them being as fast as they are, that it doesn't take much weight to get a lot of movement, and we saw an example of that. Patrick will be a bit disappointed the jack moved as far as it did. Now Blair has the chance of a bonus bowl. Is he going to reach it? Well, I don't think he's managed to make that one count. No, I don't think he has either. So that is one to Blair Spicer. He goes back into the lead by four points to three, and we've had five ends of this 12 end no time limit final. One point lead to Blair Spicer. Getting near the halfway stage. Yes, yes. The next few ends are pretty crucial for both players. Either one of them could, have, could establish a bit of a break here. Could be the winning of the match. That's a good opening ball from Blair. Excellent opening ball, Chris. Lucky there. He was obviously looking to move the jack away. He was looking to rest the ball or move. He was just a little bit under green. It's given Blair a chance to sit another one on the jack. He's played this one very well. Now I know you regard Blair as a very steady draw bowler. What, what do you think of Patrick? Do you think he's as steady a draw bowler as Blair? Uh, I think, don't think there's much between the two players at all. Uh, both are very, very good bowlers. That was an excellent reply from Patrick. He just played with a little weight up to squeeze the jack to the side of the mat. Has he dodged the weight on that one very well, didn't he? he? Did, yes. It's wide open for Blair to draw. She has. Because the jack is so far over to one side, they're probably limited to playing just on the one hand now. They can't play it on the other side or they'll run off the map. Yes, they, yes, they will. Uh, uh, although there is an opportunity to still play the other hand, but the object then would be to rest the bowl, which is what's happened. Here. Holt proved just wrong with that one. He did choose the hand that there wasn't yes. much room and he's played a perfect shot. He's made it a lot more difficult for Blair to yes, get the shot back. Uh, there is an opportunity here for Blair. He's a bit unlucky there, but it's not a good bowl. Well, Blair has played his last bowl of this end. Patrick still has one to come. He, he will no doubt be wanting to make a second bowl count here and get two shots but uh, he's got to be very, very careful. He does, and I think Blair's last bowl may very well have limited Patrick's options here. Okay. Particularly if that jack is touching the bowl. Even drawing up to that, just a little touch on that, he could give the shot away. And he has nothing behind the head at all. Uh, is this one of those occasions where you don't play the bowl? Oh, well, it may well be. I think at the stage, the score is 4-3. Patrick is only one behind. He's decided not to play the bowl, or not to do any do anything with it anyway. So he gets one point and levels the score at four all. And we've now completed six ends. We're halfway through this final here at the Lifespan Smoke Free National Indoor Bowls Championships in Invercargill. Six ends to go, and Patrick will lead off in the seventh. He's gone for about a mid-length this time. Well, yes, he's still favouring the longer type ends. It seems as though both players have established their pattern in this game. Blair favouring the short to three-quarter length ends and Patrick the three-quarter to longer ends. A little psychological battle going on there. Yes, it is. <laughs> Blair Spicer plays his first bowl of the seventh end. <laughs> and he's immediately matched Patrick Holt's bowl. Yes, that was a very good reply from Blair, just resting Patrick's bowl and lying down behind the jack. a little bit of positional opportunity. Yes, I think he would have preferred to have been a little bit further around on the jack than there, because there's still a wee bit of a gate there for Blair. 
which he's taken advantage of. So Blair Spicer uses the Patrick Holt bowl to come in onto the jack. He now lies two shots. Patrick's not got an easy shot this time. No, he hasn't. He's got, so he'll be in two minds here, one whether to try and draw the jack off Blair's bowl or get a position bowl in first so he can play with a bit more weight with his last. I think that indecision shows at the moment he's giving it a lot of thought. Now he's changed his mind. He looks as though he's going to play up on the draw to Blair's bowl and maybe just squeeze the jack out to the side of the mat. The bowl's on its way with weight. He hasn't got the result he'd have been looking for, but uh, it's possibly a little easier next time for him. It is. It was a bit of a strange shot he played there. He, you know, if he was a little bit wide, he, he could very well have killed that end. But as you say, he has ended up with a, a reasonable result. Depending on what this bowl from Blair Spicer does. It's still a good bowl from Blair, but the, but the gate is still open there for Patrick, just to play just a little over the draw to drag the jack through. He'll be conscious he can't play it too heavily and drag the jack right back off the end of the mat, but he's got to make sure he's got enough weight to get up there. Yes, and he wouldn't want to cut the jack either. Well, he moved the jack, but he's moved it, locked it in with the brown bowl. He's still at least one down, probably only one down. Yes, it's hard to say from this angle, Chris, but he could even be two down. That angle tends to suggest you're right there, Wayne. But again, Blair has to be careful. He can't afford to move the jack very far. No, he, if he's, he'd be looking to draw to sit in front of his front brown. Well, he's certainly got that weight. He's given it enough to get another shot out of it, no, though. but it was still a good attempt, though. So Blair Spicer now leads by six points to four, and we've completed seven ends. Regularity under the mat would certainly affect the bowl. Yes, it would certainly take the bowl off its off its course. That's a good opening bowl from Blair Spicer. It's an excellent opening bowl. <coughs> it's just interesting to note on this end, uh, Chris, that Blair has lengthened it a little more than the than the other ends he's he's been playing. Yes, he's gone for roughly the same length as the last end was. Because they have had quite a bit of jack movement in, in a number of these ends. So. Yes. Blair Spicer holds one, playing his second bowl now. And he's not going to be far away with this one either. Blair's played two good bowls there. Patrick still has uh, the opportunity, though, to draw inside them. Patrick will probably be feeling he's been a little unlucky with a few of his bowls in the last end or two. Yes. Well, he's not letting him bother him. Played a good, good bowl there. It may still be one down. Would have probably have liked to have been between the two brown bowls. But yes. If he's got the shot, he'll have to settle for that. This will be a crucial bowl from Blair. He'll be looking to get inside there. He's just a little underweighted and under green. I think he's now made certain that it is a black. Patrick won't, be, Patrick won't be looking to change much from his previous bowl. He needs to score on this end. Oh, shot. He certainly holds two now. He may even hold three on that. Yes, he head may now. well do. There's the replay of the bowl going in with weight to move the brown bowls or the jack, and he's done both.
that's a reply from Blair. Yes, that's an excellent reply from Blair from a very good bowl played by Patrick. Yes, this is shaping up to be a very good final, Chris. I mean, both players are playing exceptionally well and there are very, very few uh, missed shots. Well, Patrick was probably thinking he had a good chance of scoring on that end, but now he's got a lot of work to do. Yes, there is still a chance there for him, though. I need to draw the bowl off Blair's. He hasn't done that, he's only moved his own bowl. So he goes down a further one. And it is now seven points to four, with eight ends completed to Blair Spicer of Canterbury, playing Patrick Holt of Upper Hutt Valley. In fact, as we mentioned earlier, Patrick Holt now lives in Waikato and plays his bowls there. But for this tournament, he was registered and entered through the Upper Hutt Valley district. We're now into the last third of this final, 12 ends, no time limit. The players have had ample opportunity to get used to the mat. They should be producing their best bowls now. Yes, they are. As I say, I think both players are playing exceptionally well. It was a good opener from Blair, and here's an equally good reply from Patrick. It's proving to be a good final for the crowd. Sometimes we see a one-sided event, but this is certainly anybody's match still. Yes, it's it's certainly a uh, a good final to to culminate in, in such a good tournament as this. as if he's a little more confident about his draw weight now. Yes, he is. He looks as though, I think, Blair probably feels as though he's got Patrick on the run here a bit and he's just looking to nail, to put the nail in the coffin. Well, he hasn't done it yet. No, it's a good ball. That should be shot to Patrick Holt. Blair goes up to check. The crowd don't know. They have to wait for an indication from them probably the next type of shot that Blair plays as to what the situation is. Yeah. The marker observes what's going on but is not able to tell the crowd exactly what's happening down there on the mat. I think Blair will be looking to draw up to uh, his front bowl to sit it down to squeeze the jack to the side. Is his bowl going to run out the distance? No. no. In fact, the way Blair played that last bowl, maybe he has got the shot. Yes, well, he from has. that angle, he has, hasn't he? Mm. Uh, what would you expect from Patrick now? He's got to score this end, doesn't he? Yes, he'll be playing with weight to, to push uh, Blair's bowl onto the onto the jack, onto his own bowl. Oh, yeah. oh. The way they came to rest, it looks as if it, probably the black and the brown balls are touching, but I think Patrick does have a chance for his next bowl. He does, it? yes, yes. That was an excellent shot from Patrick. It's taken all the advantage away from Blair. He now only has one bowl on the head, and he will now have to be very careful now how he plays this. I guess the, the two options are either to block it to make it difficult for your opponent to get at, or come round the back with a bowl in behind. Yes. do both. No, the other option of course is to draw short onto the front bowl of Patrick's just to, just to sit in there, just to get another one close to the head. He will have seen, remember the shots that Patrick played earlier on, he's played the weighted shots with some confidence really, not always got the result, but he certainly played them with confidence. Yes. So he'll be aware that Patrick will go for that to remove the brown bowl. Certainly trying to get close. It may actually be a very, very good bowl. That may have given Blair the shot. It's certainly given him another bowl handy to the head. Mm. Well, it's obviously very close down there. Patrick thinks he's got the shot, he probably won't do anything, will he? But no, no, he'd be a bit silly to play anything here if he's got the shot. 
the way he's studying the head, may very, he may very well not have. He'd very much like to get that brown bowl out of it. I'm sure he'd like to get both of those brown bowls out of there. So this is where knowledge of the angles and things of bowls comes in, but like billiards here, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yes, it's very similar to billiards. anything here it'll be with a little a little weighted shot and the ball's on its way it's in the right direction oh, and once again he hasn't got the result he had his one further shot to Blair Spicer he now goes out to an 8-4 lead sorry I'm sure he was looking for his outside black yes he didn't get that result so he goes down a further point We've had nine ends completed now, and Blair Spicer of Canterbury leads Patrick Holt of Upper Hutt Valley by eight to four. Very crucial end here Patrick for Patrick. Patrick must be thinking, what do I do next? Yes, that would be right. He's, he hasn't really had the run of the run of the game. He's played some very good weighted shots. I think that Blair has outdrawn him, um, but he's been a bit unlucky with, with some of those weighted shots he's played. We saw that in Blair Spicer's semi-final, that he played the steadier draw the holes to defeat his opponent, Paul Barkley, also of Canterbury. Patrick had a slightly easier path through the semi-final. He beat Murray Keesing of Mungary Bridge in Auckland. Probably wasn't under as much pressure in that game as he is in this game. But he's got the shot there, with his opening bowl in the 10th end. Blair is playing very confidently at the moment. I think with an 8-4 lead and this end and two more, this end and two more to go, I think he's feeling as though he's got, he could have this title. And of course we may get to the situation where they don't need to play the 12 ends. Patrick right. doesn't score on this end. Once again, the jack is tucked in tight between the two bowls. He'll still just be drawing, trying to reach the back blacks there of, of Patrick just to sit another bowl in there. He's achieved his best results with his draw bowls. Yes, he has. It's on its way. It looks to be draw weight. It's coming into the head now. We now have the jack locked in by three bowls. Yes, we have. And uh, at that stage, of course, Patrick is outnumbered. Patrick will be playing with weight here to open the head up a bit, probably looking to play on to Blair's last bowl. He could possibly even split the two brown bowls there. They may not both go, but that's almost what he's done. Yes. Gives him a good opportunity. Locked in. It does give him a good opportunity for his next bowl, depending on what Blair does with this one. position before and he's got out of it. He needs to be a bit careful here if he plays with any weight to the head he could lose his own bowl. Yes that would be disastrous. We don't know who's got the shot and I suspect at least two of those bowls are touching the jack. He is playing it with weight. has had a disastrous result. Patrick Holt now holds two shots and the opportunity with the bonus ball to get another one right. That's right, and that will put him one behind with two ends to play. This could be just the break that Patrick's been looking for. You have to be careful. You won't want to move that, Jack. No, he'd be looking to, to draw into the gap, aiming to sit on the middle red ball there that Blair has. 
is very important. This bonus bowl is very important for Patrick. Mm, he's a little wide on that. He is. He has missed the bonus opportunity. He will take two shots from the end, so the score with 10 ends completed is now 8 to 6 to Blair Spicer of Canterbury. Patrick has started off the 11th end with a touch. a little overweight, but he has got the ball round the back. Yes, it wasn't a bad reply from Blair. He would have been looking to rest Patrick's bowl, maybe drag the jack round the corner, but he's ended up in a very good position there. Patrick will be aiming to match that ball with this, with this one of his. Well, it's probably made it a little safer for Patrick there. Yes, it's probably not what he was aiming to do because... Uh, Blair's still got a chance to draw onto that to move the jack out to the side. It would probably give him to change shot. his hand to achieve it. I guess at this level, after so many games, they don't worry about changing hands. No, Wayne? no, at this level, uh, you should. No, he's not changed his hand. In fact, he's tried to open it up on the same one. Yes, you players, when you get to this level, really do know how to play the game and know how to play all the shots, both hands, so that's not usually a problem for them at all. Patrick certainly holds one. I think it's only one. on that shot. He's given himself two, but he's also given himself a target to Blair. He hasn't achieved that, so here's a chance for Blair Spicer to come into that gap. Well, he hasn't achieved it either. He's a little bit narrow with that shot. Do you think there's a little bit of pressure starting to show here? Yes, I think both players... Go down to the tense. business end? That's right. They've both played that sort of shot very well up until now, but they're both just a little astray. Patrick Holt, the black balls, holds two. That would draw him with the Spicer. But he doesn't want to leave the situation like it is at the moment. Given that one enough green, but he hasn't got the weight right. I think he was a little bit under green there. Yes, I think it was he, under green, though. Yeah. I think he was looking to sit just in front of the head there to make it very difficult for Blair to play up to the head. Blair has a chance here. He could go very close to winning the game on this head. If he... Patrick would have to score four on the last end just to draw. That's right, and the way these players have been playing, a four seems unlikely. Well, he's cut it down. That's one to Patrick Holt. The difference is now one. It's eight points to seven, and we've completed 11 ends. The first bowl of the final end of the 12 end final is on its way, played by Patrick Holt of Upper Hutt Valley. A little overweight, but he'd be reasonably happy with that. Yes, that's a good, good, good opener. Leah Spicer's first bowl. That's the shot. Each player still has three bowls to go. Still plenty of room there, though, to, to sit one on the jack. <coughs> His green looks about right. <laughs> Again, the perfect reply. <clears throat> there is watching this one very close. It's an excellent reply from Blair. He just drew the jack off Patrick's bowl and is sat to the side with the shot. 
matching each other ball for ball in this final end. And here we go again. No. I think that shot just shows the difference between the two players in this game. I mean, with Patrick, a lot of shots he's played, it's been so close, yet just so far away. Probably just a little overweight. Martino is going to have a very difficult shot after Blair Spicer has played his next ball. Advantage definitely rests with Blair here. One ball over the head, one right on it. And he also has the last ball on this crucial head too, Chris. Yes. Yes, the last ball can be very important in this game, can't yes, it? Yes, it can, particularly at this stage. <coughs> He's gone way out to the side to get around for this one. <laughs> He's given Patrick very little options. Yes. He'd be looking to move the jack over towards his black bowl now. I think that's the only chance that Patrick's got at this stage, uh, Chris. It was a beautiful last bowl, that one that we've just seen come into the head on the replay. It tightened it right up. Patrick's only chance really is to come onto the front bowl in the hope of squeezing the jack out to the side. Yes, it'll be interesting to see which hand he chooses here. He could play the shot on either hand. It looks as though he's going to play at the back, on the back hand. It's in or out on this ball. It's if he doesn't score, that's it. Oh, he's close. that he has the shot. Does it look like the shot to you? Yes, it looks like the shot. Patrick's played a good bowl here. Looks as he's going to play you or play the shot that you proposed, uh, Chris. Try and move one of his own brown bowls up a little. Yes. He's chosen weight to do that. A risk involved too. Yeah. And he's going to run right off the end of the mat. He'll be asking himself, why did I do that? Yes, well, I suppose, you know, if he'd, if he'd got the result he was after, um, he would have felt he chose the, the right option, but I still feel that he should have been drawing on the other hand. There's plenty of room to get him there. The result is that it's a draw after the regulation 12 ends. The players have tossed, and generally the loser is invited to play first. Once again, the importance of that last bowl. Blair Spicer obviously won the toss, and he's nominated that Patrick should go first so that Blair retains the last bowl. Yes, that's that the way you would read it, Wayne? That's exactly correct, Chris. And there's the replay of the bowl, just too wide, too heavy for what he was hoping to do. So here we are, we're into a deciding end. Somebody has to come out the winner on this deciding end. Patrick has the shot, but I think Blair has the better position. Yes, he has. Yes, Patrick's opening bowl was just probably just a little bit too too light. He finished at jack level. He has a chance to correct this with this bowl. He's changed his hand, he's coming the other way, and he's come inside. Oh, nice ball. Shot. Two shots. Played a good ball there, he's rested Blair's back ball. Would you like to pick a winner at this stage, Wayne? Uh, no, I wouldn't, uh, Chris. <laughs> Although I suppose being a South Islander, I should be favouring uh, Blair Spicer. Well, I guess you should. I'll cheer for the North Island then. There's Blair's second bowl, and he'll be disappointed with that. Yes, he would. He, he didn't really want to fall short at this stage. He's still two down. He's played two bowls. Only needs one to win. Either player can win with one shot now. And suddenly, the momentum is with Patrick. Yes, it is. He can really put the pressure on here with this bowl. And he has. That, that, that 
could be the bowl that decides the match. It's certainly worth another look at. He played it to perfection. Here it comes now, coming down towards the head. Picks up the jack and just neatly tucks it in for three shots. And gives Blair very few options. Yes, Blair's going to have to play with weight to this to, to get the jack out of there. It's a fairly narrow target. He's hit it. Two of the three balls, but he's still one down. He still is, but it's certainly a better position. He can see he's still got a chance here now. I mean, he's given himself a ball at the back, and uh, depending on what Patrick does here, he has a chance to move the jack back to his back brown. This was a very good, good shot from Blair from the position he was in. It would appear that Patrick's choice would be to cover that ball at the back. Yes, it would. He'd have to be careful though that he didn't drop his weight and actually play the shot for him. He's staying on the same hand. The ball's on its way. He's looking to cover the back ball, the brown ball. Well, he's overweight for that. He hasn't covered it. And the shot is still there for Blair Spicer to nudge the black ball and move the jack back to his waiting brown. Yes, it's still that last ball of Patrick's could still be quite a useful bowl from this angle. It's very difficult to know if Blair does touch which direction Patrick's the shot jack bowl, would go. The jack will actually hit the bowl or whether it will slide past. It's on its way. Just a little wait. But he's wide. So there we are. Here. So that's the situation at the Lifespan Smoke Free National Indoor Bowls Championships. The singles has been decided. The winner for 1994 is Patrick Holt of Upper Hutt Valley. He defeated Blair Spicer of Canterbury by nine points to eight in the final. people come from? 